Especially fourth graders. Being in third grade last year, this is your, your you know, you were new Second. to projects at the beginning of the year. Um, and when you started it, it was a brand new experience for you. So Nathaniel is getting a little taste of what that feels like to do a project, take it from beginning to end, and then present it. Which is very cool. Thank you too. Yeah. Thank you for letting us on. <laughs> Um, 
um, they, um, they have, the babies have a, spe a special scent, and, um, and once the oil came in, into their bodies and stuff like that, um, then they, then that scent went away, and so then the seals abandoned their babies, which was kind of bad, because that was so young. Um, and then the transportation, like I said, the horses, you had to go around on that, and then the um, manure would get piled up really high, and things would smell bad. Um, and then when they went to the bathroom, they were going to get carried in the way, and people were grossed out. There actually is, um, there used to be a special kind of, like, a special job where um, men would, they would get a brush, or like, or like a broom, and then they clean the sidewalk for the ladies in the fancy dresses, dresses that were trying to get by to like the dinners and stuff like <laughs> yeah, he just saw um, and then instead of using oil, we could use nuclear energy, hydropower, wind power, thermal power, and solar power. Um, I think right now we're using more nuclear energy because it's when atoms split apart. But the only bad thing about that is it's hard to um, like um, put it into the trash easily. Like you. If you um, don't do it correctly, then people can like, get cancer and stuff like that, which is really bad. So, and then hydropower, um, it's good, but you have only, you can only find it in certain places um, because, um, let's say there's just a tiny river, it's probably not going to be enough to like, power the city if you need it. Um, and then wind power, wind turbines. Yes, but it's it's renewable, but sometimes there's not enough of it, so I would just say that. And then thermal power, um, I think it's another hard to get to because it's when you go dig down um, close to the Earth's core, and then but if an accident happens or something like that, um, then it's probably going to be very hard to like do stuff about it. And then solar power, um, I think it's 
renewable, but sometimes clouds are in the way, and that definitely um, cuts off some of the energy, but still it's useful. But, um, and then the current issues are Keystone Pipeline still has not been approved due to environmental concerns. Um, they, people in Nebraska, they don't really like that um, it's going to go there. And so um, Barack Obama and other people, they're think they might change the route of it because it's going to go from Canada down to the, um, I think, like the Gulf of Mexico or something like that. Um, and then also um, there's the Sioux tribe. Um, it's going to go through their land, and they don't want that because it would make bad water. Um, and also, they don't think that um, it would be very good for like, their like community because it, they, they, oil workers would be rushing, like, like, and they built workers and stuff like that. But then, um, in a in a town called Winter, I think it's kind of funny. Um, they think that it would be a winner because, <laughs> um, because they think that their, um, the jobs there would get, um, would get bigger and that they'd have permanent, more permanent residents. And also, like, if you worked at a restaurant, you could get really rich because, like, like hundreds of workers are just coming in and being like, oh, we need food and like, stuff like that. Um, and then... Do you have any questions for that?